member of the Lithuanian Parliament, yes. Mr. Egidius Varikas. Welcome to our uh, Parliamentary Assembly's media box. So, uh, we would like to discuss the situation in Iran uh, now to today. So, because we know that in many West uh, characters that the current president in Iran is a moderate and that there is a new beginning following the nuclear deals with Tehran. So what is your point of view from for that? You know, uh, maybe this president is moderate for the Western countries, for the United States, because uh, we see Iran, um, first of all, the nuclear terror country. And if we have to agree with someone in Iran about nuclear uh, weapons, so means that president can be m m can be called moderate. But if you, but if you look at him from the point of view of, of human rights and uh, the, the the possible reforms or non reforms of regime, of course you cannot say what it's what it's a moderate president inside the country. The regime is more or less the same as it was 10 or, or, or even more years ago. Even I would say there are some negative things, you know, uh, taking into account what Iran uh, has a deal uh, with the West, uh, with America. So the, the regime has a feeling that it is now has free hands, you know, to, 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 to perform its internal policy as it wants. And unfortunately, it wants to suppress uh public uh, public freedoms to suppress uh, public opinion the freedom of speech and freedom of governing we know what there's the the, the huge number of executions of of, of of unfair trial i don't know if my statistic is, is precise but only um, recently, I would say, in 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 in, in few in a few decades, a uh, uh, few thousand people were uh, executed. It was a very huge number, you know. In the situation when we are saying what that penalty is really uh, does not part of human rights, it can be it has to be abolished. So in this country, that penalty is performed very in the very large scale. There are also still ban of you know independent or, or non non regime supported political activity. There are problems with mass media. There are problems with the uh, with the basic uh, human rights. And of course, uh, we have also problems in the international area uh, because uh, many people do not understand what's going on on the, the region. Who is who? Who is our enemy? Who is our friend? And uh, from one hand, we can say that uh, Iran is uh, maybe not a very bad country because we have nuclear deal with it. But from our hand, he's supporting a um, regime of Bashir Assad. Uh, he is also provoking, you know, the countries like Iraq to suppress the Iranian opposition in the Camp Liberty and uh, and other places. So this is uh, this is makes the picture very very, how to say, very complicated, very mixed, but uh, speaking in, in one sentence, of course, I do not see any uh, moderate changes, in essence, in that regime. So what would you like to say about, uh, so let's say, what are your recommendations or what should have done to uh, solve the current political, mm. let's say, problems in the region and especially in Iran and maybe the role of the international community for that side. You know, here we are sitting now in the Council of Europe mm. and, and we're just discussing refugee crisis and the uh, situation in that region. I think the main, the, the main uh, problem here is what we're trying to depolitize, depolitize uh, refugee crisis, taking what everybody who is coming from that region, he is a refugee and he needs the help. But in reality, we need really to do the opposite. We need to say very clearly who is enemy, who is our ally, who is fighting whom, because now the public opinion don't understand it. So when we uh, will make a very clear picture, very clear front line with our, with our uh, duty to help, with our duty to, to resist, we will know what to do. So we have to state very clearly as uh, people were enough courageous in the times of uh, Cold War to say what this is the enemy country, this is our ally. So we have to make situation 
politically very clear. And then we will understand which, which people are really refugees, which are, which are our economic migrants, and which country is producing these so-called refugees. And uh, when we will have the clear picture for what we are fighting really, uh, not uh, because now we are fighting someone whom we don't know, uh, we will have uh, really understanding uh, what, uh, which regime, what, the, what they are do, doing, what is the Islam State, what, uh, what is the Iranian regime. So I want to make the very clear picture. And second thing, we have to stick to our values if we are supporting the, the democracy as we understand it, human rights, uh, rule of law. We have to really to support that. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.